Hi team, in this video I give you an insight on buying items from weekend vendors and reselling them later to make a profit. There are two different weekend vendors, a luxury furnishing vendor selling unique pieces to add detail and finish your house in Cold Harbour, and the golden vendor in Cyrodiil who sells a monster helm and shoulders and a ring set each weekend. The furnishing vendor in Cold Harbour is my most reliable source as almost everything sells and everything he sells does make a profit. Each week I purchase a bunch of what he sells. I usually pick and choose what I purchase extra of, as some items will sell more frequently than others. The longer you hold these items, the more you make. After around 12 months, the items will come back on the vendor and lose their value going back to around the original price. Be aware of this, so usually I sell around two months afterwards when it's still fresh in people's minds and the supply has dried up. Items that sell especially well from here are usually things that are small and detailed. Lights, flowers and walls all sell really well. Figurines and jars of pickled items all sell really well. I generally check TTC prices first to make sure I'm not adding too much but 40% on top of the purchase price from the vendor still normally sells and covers the guild taxes. You can go higher over time or lower if it's just released. People will still buy even when it's already on the vendor if they don't realize it, so it's something to be aware of. You can get it up straight away and sell it straight away. The golden vendor in Cyrodiil I don't make money off, but it is an easy way to get the monster helm sets of the harder DLC dungeons without having to grind through them. You can get them in impenetrable and infused, with the impen sets being bought with AP and the infused sets being bought with gold. They're untradeable, but definitely the easiest way to get them. The jewelry on the other hand, you can definitely make money on. Things like golden worm jewelry, ebon, and other healer support sets sell well. As you can see from these screenshots, I've been making a pretty penny. This is all very low effort purchases. I do this every week and it's just a little passive income. This keeps me topped up so I can spend heaps of money on other stuff. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.